Yes, I've changed, you know, the way I eat and what I think about. No, I don't. I have to eat what I want. I Don't give me the lie. <laughs> no, but I have cut out um, a lot of breads, pasta, stuff like that. I have spaghetti squash that I plan to make. I eat it with chicken, so I eat a lot of chicken. So in the mornings, I even have the quinoa, and I put a fried egg on top of the quinoa, and that's what I eat. Love fried plantain. So, so I guess the quinoa is like my carb, but it's really, really healthy and it adds a lot of fiber. Uh, some people see me, they was like, oh, you're really tiny. So right now, the pants I have on today, they're size 26. I guess that would be like a size one, uh, a two, three, or a zero, one, I don't know. Like two, three. But the running has helped. How did I lose weight or how, did, how am I, you know, maintaining my weight? I run maybe six days out of the week. I do spin class maybe twice a week. I would like to increase that. But I'm telling you, I get so tired after work. I need, if you know of anything that I can drink that'll give me that boost of energy, just like when I'm leaving, something that's more natural. I just need some, I'm just tired. Plus my alarm clock, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, okay? My alarm clock goes off at 4.30, or sometimes 4.28, 4.28. I don't get out of the bed until like 5.15. I'm like, you ain't gotta get up. I was, I'm the snooze queen. I need to stop snoozing, I really do. I have a snooze problem, okay? I know I do, I need help. I, I just know it. So, I snooze y'all, but I'm like, Joy, if you know you're not going to get up at 4.30, why don't you change your alarm? Because, you know, sometimes the alarm goes off and then I take a moment to stretch, whatever. I look at my phone. I read comments. I, res I respond to comments. So I do take the time to do that. I pray as I'm laying in bed. Oh, God, please. <laughs> I got to my financial. <laughs> God, thank you for waking me up this morning. <laughs> Thank you. You know, thank you. Help me get through the day with these kids. I uh, pray for patience. Uh, for patience, please. You know, because they work my nerves sometimes. Please, they talk so much. So anyway, <laughs> you know, I just pray for a lot of things. What I'm grateful for, what I'm thankful for. You know, a whole bunch of stuff. It changes almost every day, okay? So don't be quoting me on what I pray for. Just let me do me, you do you, okay? Sometimes people want to pick apart every little thing you do. So, so I do that. So I do use that time to take care of all my administrative needs. <laughs> and then I eventually get up and I um, brush my teeth. I, I brush my teeth. No water. No water on the toothbrush. Mm. I hope I don't have stuff in my teeth. <laughs> so I brush my teeth. I love my toothpaste. Oh, it is my absolute favorite. It's Armour Ham and Baking Soda Toothpaste. It is like the best toothpaste ever. Um, so I've been using that for the last couple of years, but I did grow up on Crest. I like to put the toothpaste on my toothbrush and I just, ooh, just thought, ooh, it's just so good, I love it. And then I put my sneakers on, literally, I put my sneakers on and I put my running top on, that's it. That's how I like to run. You know, my undies, my running top, sneakers every morning so that's something i wouldn't show on the channel or i'll be getting in trouble for that depending on how much time how much snoozing i've done so i may average between 20 minutes to 25 minutes i usually don't have time but on weekends i'll do maybe 35 40. i did 40 i think on saturday i did 40 minutes on saturday so it depends on my time and then i try to catch the spin classes and so um, that's how I maintain. Watch what I eat when I when I feel like it. God bless you. I watch what I eat when I feel like it, and when I want to sit there and eat an entire Intamin's cake, which I kind of did. I do, <laughs> and I try not to feel guilty about it. You know, I still live a little, whatever, I, I, whatever. So, but but really, I do all this for heart health. You know, I don't need to lose weight, but I do for heart health. But if people want to know how I've maintained um, all my life, 
kind of been the same size most of my life. I do have a high metabolism, um, good genes, and um, running has always been my passion. And that's why, that's one of the things I've always invested in um, as an adult, it's a treadmill. I always invested in the treadmill. So, ooh, there's a story. I know I told a story before when the kids were younger, and oh, I just did 20 minutes. I only did 20. Sometimes I did longer runs, and child, they flooded the whole house because I was determined to do my 20 minutes undisturbed when the kids were young. They was playing in the toilet. They were playing in the toilet water. Cindy ran and put on a bathing suit, child. She, she could have been about three or something like that. Ran and put a bathing in toilet water because it was overflow. Oh my God, I do. I'm having flashbacks just thinking about that hot mess, child. But you know what? I got my 20 minute run on <laughs> that cost us $2,500 in damage. We had to call somebody and they had to dry out the house. And it was terrible. It swelled up. The water came from upstairs and went all the way downstairs. But I had on, um, uh, what is those, those earphones that blocked out all outside sound? It blocks out all the sound and I had those in. I was like, no, I'm doing the 20 minutes. And they was looking happy trying to tell me what was going on. But I was like, uh-uh, this is my 20 minutes. I deserve 20 minutes. I was, I was a stay-at-home mom at that time. But I was always active, always had sneakers on. I was like, uh-oh, -uh. y'all not gonna mess up my 20. I get 20 minutes out of 24 hours. I want my 20 minutes. <laughs> and Hunty, when that, Thing beep. I hopped up that treadmill. I was like, who they gonna get in trouble? They playing in water? <laughs> child, I didn't know I had to swim upstairs, child. The flooded everywhere. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Yeah, I couldn't even yell. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. Oh. So I remember calling my friend Lindsay. And I was like, Lindsay, my husband right you. What do I and I think she sent her husband over and he made some calls for me and we, they had a whole company um, dry out the house, had fans running for like 48 hours straight. It was a mess. And you know, now that I'm thinking about it, nobody got a pow pow. Because I felt like it was my fault too. I should have been. I, all I had to do was take one little thing out of my ear. I don't think anybody got a pow pow. But the lesson for me is when the kids come running, smiling, or crying, or trying to talk to me, I just. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Give me another. I have another uh, six minutes to go. Can you wait? Okay. <laughs> all right. Sit down in the corner. I want to see all three of y'all sitting right here. Do not move from this spot. <laughs> and I know this is already going long, but sometimes if you have little kids and you need to go to the bathroom, this just hit me. And you have to go to the bathroom, in the public bathroom, and you have a lot of little kids like I did. They were all 18 months apart, so it was like I had triplets. And um, so, Sydney would be three, Bobby would be four, and Clinton was five. Triplets, triplets. <laughs> so, they would have to put their little feet underneath the stall where I was. I have to see the, the, um, the little, six little, six little feet. Do, do, do. And they couldn't move their feet while I was in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So that was something, of course, if you have the shopping cart, all hands always have to be on a shopping cart. Child, but let me tell you, you didn't hear this from those kids. Work my nerves today. They're really good kids, but ooh. one class, I had to yell. My throat was hurting. I had to sit down. <coughs> it still hurts a little bit. <coughs> I think they would not stop talking. And when you have 80% of the class, maybe 70, fail a test, you don't need to be talking. You don't need to be talking. You need to take this reteach in this exam review. You need to take it very seriously. That's what you need to do. Talking is not working out for you. Obviously, with the test scores, okay, maybe it's something you didn't get that I taught, so now I'm going to reteach it. I'm going to stand on my head and teach it to you this way. Maybe you'll get it this time. So there's no need for you to be talking in class. So when I'm talking, you don't need to be talking or you can keep your feeling great. Ooh, I was heated. I was like, be quiet. I don't like to tell kids shut up. I, I don't, I, that's not my thing. I was like, be quiet. Be quiet. Obviously, you need to hear what I have to say. Obviously, 
Most of you didn't pass the test, so you need to be attentive. You need to look up here. You need to listen to what I'm saying. Help me help you. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink it. I want you all to drink the water. But if you're talking and running your mouth, you can't drink the water because you're talking. And if you're talking, you're not listening. So what are you going to do? What you going to do? Because next thing you know, your parents want to call me and tell me about your family. Why is my child failing? Why is your child keep talking while I'm trying to teach a class? How about that? Don't get me riled up, y'all. My throat is still tender. <laughs> and I don't get upset like that. I really don't. But they really put me in a bad mood. I was like, the test results show you need to listen. Okay, and I just, I was just, I just had it. Because a parent is so quick to blame a teacher. It's frustrating. Why, why did you fail my child? What? Why did I fail you? Anyway, so that's 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 a frustration that um, many teachers deal with, um, parents or or the students. Like, oh, is there anything I can do to raise my grade? How about you pay attention the first time? So now your problem is now my problem because now you want me to use my extra time to help you when you were talking the whole class period. You see how that works? You see that, right? <sighs> And my classes are really large. And you know I have that special classroom seating, um, which I've changed. If you haven't seen my classroom, you need to go look. So I have that special classroom seating. So it's like, I'm every, every seat in the classroom is a great seat. So I can't even move you to another seat where you, you face in the corner. I can't even do that. Every seat is a great seat. Everybody knows everybody. So I was like, no matter what seat they sit at, <laughs> They still gonna be running their mouth, so. But I love them, I do love them, they're just chatty. Anyway, that's enough about my day. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out, you know I'll talk to you. I may have to put this video into two videos cause you know I talk too much. I'll probably do two videos. I don't I don't talk too much, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all know I'm a talker. So you, you can't come on this channel just think you gonna see me eat. I'm a talker, that, that's what I do. I talk all day at school too. I don't know, I didn't know I was a talker. Maybe I should have been a talker when I was in a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, I probably think I talked a lot too. No, probably I probably didn't want to talk when I got home because I talked so much all day. But then still, like when I get on the camera, I just talk, 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 talk. Oh my lord, I didn't realize I talked so much. But anyway, give this video a thumbs up. Later.